escorting those two Vipers. One of them is uh, doing seed against an S300 side, and the other one will strike a location with those CBUs. Will strike a location with a bunch of uh, cargo jets on an airfield, being protected by the S300. My job is to escort them and provide some uh, cover against uh, bandits. He's going away. And that guy. Oh, we got some radar contact. All right. Okay, breaking away, and let's start fighting again. I got those uh, big daddy missiles, AIM 174s. Which is definitely gonna help me out with the range here. Gonna speed up and climb up. We got two bandits. Well, a little bit of weird formation there. It's hard to tell exactly what's going on. We got one of them locked at the moment. I lost the other. Oh, there it is. I'm gonna try to shoot at both of them. We're sure in range 55 miles. But he's not heading towards me. It looks a little bit weird what's going on there. By the way, they are... Oh, there I go. There's the two and I'm getting spiked by them now. This is the unknown contact. They do have a capability of long-range missiles. There we go. We got a shot at. They got those uh, R37s. So they already shot at me. So it looks like an STT lock here. Fox three. That's one. I broke the lock on the other. So only one. They are doing some maneuvering there. Looks like they're circling each other. Maybe or uh, notching right now. He's defending. Broke the lock. Um, the A174, um, it's a very capable missile. It doesn't need a guidance, but I don't know. The fact that I broke the lock a little bit early might cause it to miss. It was uh, way too early during the launch, but I guess we'll see. So that's why I'm defending aggressively. I'm doing that so I'll be able to defeat the missile faster. Maintaining high speeds because they got hypersonic missiles. Mach 1.4 defending towards the ground. Now uh, pulling up a little bit, going to walk Mach 1.2. And jet drag the missile into the ground to recommit fast. Not getting any RWR notification. see anything I'm gonna try to uh, recommit there you go RWRs and no missile warning so that's them they're already been recommitted pointing the nose at me at least try to pick him up on radar the F-15 is an amazing just just made to do this BVR stuff that's the S-300 site still nothing on radar So my missile definitely sent... Oh, we got two of them. Different altitude. Okay. Uh, one of them... Try to pick them both and shoot at both of them to send both of them defensive. Come on. They're very tight formation, but different altitudes or above each other. That's one of them locked. And... Oh, come on. That's one. And that's two. It does look like they are above each other in different altitudes. I'm getting spiked, get shot at, okay. Fox 3 times 2. There you go. That will definitely send him defensive. I hope that will do the trick and at least uh, splash him uh, at least one of them. We were pretty close, that was uh, about 40 mile launch. I'm 37 miles from them now, so actually maybe 39. I didn't watch the thing when I shot it. Broke the lock, but that's fine, we're pretty close range.
that's closed for that missile so he can go active and uh, do his thing I'm gonna defend aggressively really close to the ground and fast notification but that is dangerous because this missile can come from above so I'll take my time and maintain high speeds Mach 1.1 start recommending through from the valleys so I'm just making sure that I'm breaking the lock and climbing up gaining the altitude The S-300 site is uh, still there. I don't think I got shot at by the S-300 yet, but I'm definitely getting closer. Those are the Vipers doing their thing. They are kind of to the left of me, engaging that S-300 site. And I'm getting spiked. That's an S-300. Okay, we get close. from that S300 and try to pick up some bandits over here. Am I scanning too much to the right? I'm not sure. They might definitely gonna use the S300 site, you know, to uh, defend towards it, to drag me into range of that S300 site. So let's work that. That's the S300 launch. Oh, and that's... that. Actually, I'm not sure about this one. If, regardless, I'm gonna defend. I'm not sure about the range. I didn't see it on radar. Lost a little bit of situation or I don't think I point my radar to the right location. It definitely looks like they were defending towards the S300 site and I was scanning a little bit to the right of it. I was in track while I scan, so I, I think I'm gonna scan a little bit faster once I'm gonna recommit. There we go, no more missile notification. Even if I lost my situation awareness for a second there and uh, got shot at without uh, returning fire, the speed of the F-15 will allow me is allowing me to going faster, backwards, and increasing the range, defending from missiles quickly and recommit quickly. That's a definitely an F-15 thing. That's why that thing is such an impressive jet as, it, as far as it go with uh, BVR. There we go, radar contact, got him locked, Fox 3, that's my last AIM-174. Launched at 38, 37 miles, and he is not, his nose is not directly pointing at me and I'm not getting spiked, not even by the S-300, which is a little bit of a weird situation, I think we have a similar situation to exactly what happened to me in the previous engagement. He, he didn't see me, he didn't scan the right location because I went to the side. Interesting, okay, the fuel, we can jettison the fuel tanks now. It'll be lighter and faster, and we'll drag. And I still got the lock on this guy, just on the gimbal limits of the radar. Which means he's not gonna get a notification from that missile to the very last second because I shot it at track while scan. And, uh, okay, lost the RWR contact from the S300 site. Let's try to recommit and pick. Oh, he's been splashed. Look at that. He's spinning on radar. Yeah, he's been splashed. And I don't see the other. I'll maintain somewhat of a crank here and slowly recommit to pick up the other because there were two of them 
I got, okay, one radar contact right here at Angel 7. Oh, that's a 29 now. Looks like there is another, because I was fighting uh, unknown shows on Art of the R, which was the Sukhoi 35s. That's another one. We are 40 miles, and I'm getting spiked. He already knows I'm here, obviously. I'm getting spiked by him. So that was a fast one. But we still have some distance between us. 37 miles. And he is definitely going to try to use the S300 side to his advantage. RWR is coming from the exact same location of the uh, S300 site. And that's a missile launch. That's the S300. Okay, I uh, will not be able to uh, close the distance to engage. 27 miles, I was almost there, but I'm gonna have to defend that one from the S300. Recommend and pick him up again. I don't want to play chicken with, uh, with an S300. It's a very fast missile. I'm not sure about the distance between us now, but I'm, I, I'm not... I don't wanna, you know, it's a very fast missile, very dangerous missile, missile and it's still tracking. I'm gonna drag it to the ground. It's gonna be fairly easy to defeat. I don't think we're that close. There we go. No RWR contact. And try to recommit fast. Very fast. Which is just something that every, very, like, very much like with the F-15 Eagle. You can be so fast, so agile. There it is. That's him. That's the bandit. 29 nails. Getting spiked by him now. Try to search on radar. Changing some elevations here. Trying to pick him up. I don't want to lose situational awareness. He's still off the nose. There he is. Angels 18. Got him in radar. Got him locked. We are 18 miles from each other. Getting really close. So he's definitely pushing on top of my position. In range. 16 miles. Fox 3. Let's defend. He definitely had the drop on me in this one. I'm pretty sure he shot a missile at me as well. Because he was pushing on top of my location. Fairly. There it is. That's his missile. Yes, that's his missile. It's not the S-300. It's actually might be both. I'm not sure. Doesn't matter. Still defending the same. Really low and close to the ground. Go cold. The unknown is the missile itself. So we got the missile going active. I lost the RWR notification from the rest of him. So the S-300 doesn't see me. And the 29 nails doesn't see me. That's only the missile that I'm dealing with now. This is the unknown contact. That's the radar of that missile. There it is. Roll back. Going cold. Fast. Just make sure I'm defeating that missile. He definitely had the edge there because he was able to be uh, high altitude and push on top of my position and shoot at me. Recommit. But I was able to shoot a missile at him as well, so that will force him to go defensive. So now I, uh, I was able to somewhat neutralize that fight. You know, a little bit more of a fair fight. The good thing is that I got him away from the S-300 side, at least, because he was kept pushing. There he is. Angels 14. Got him locked. The S-300 side is back up online again we are 20 miles oh that was a fairly long cold defending both by me and him looks like punch with the clouds got him in range 17 miles i'm just gonna make a high probability of kill one there we go fox 3 at right at 15 miles 
defending. He recommitted high. I'm gonna defend really aggressively on this one. I already got a missile notification on me. I'm not sure, but uh, I don't know if that was him that shot at me at that moment or trackball scan. But I don't want to take any chances. That's why I went defend. That's yeah, okay. Keep defending on this one. He had uh, somewhat of a disadvantage there. He was uh, fairly high for a longer period of time, looks like. Missile is still at me. The only thing I can do right now is uh, kind of move a little bit side to side, make sure I'm close to the ground and defending that missile, dragging that missile to the ground. The missile's still on me, still tracking. I think he lofted that missile pretty, pretty much efficiently. Doing a great job coming from uh, above, gliding. Lost the RWR contact. Oh, there it is. Now it's to my side. Okay, that's weird. I'm gonna go away from that. Now it's to my rear. Okay, so I've definitely the missile was defeated. I think he's just floating around there and still pointing his nose at me. But I was definitely... I'm definitely defeating it, away from it. I was able to change its location. Not me. I mean, the missile is kind of in the same location and I'm flying around it now. Got the S-300 side. I don't have him in radar. I'm going to stay low. We were fairly close. Getting spiked by the S-300 now. I'm going to stay low, get ready to defend. A flanker could do really cool sh... Oh, uh oh, that's the okay. That's the S300. That's not him. I don't have RWR. A flanker could do really cool stuff. He can uh, basically turn off his radar, go in electro optical, a desk close range, and kind of you know hide in the mountains here. So I'm gonna try to do the same. That's still the uh, uh oh. What did I see there? We got a splash site. There you go. He was splashed. Still gonna miss a lot of me from the S300, but basically done. I'm not getting any RWR notification from anything. I don't see the RWR from the Vipers as well. I think uh, my mission is complete and I'm getting uh, low on missiles here. I got only one, two left. Okay, I'm going home. <laughs>